Claire and Jamie have certainly had some beautiful moments. Brianna and Roger are joining them in the romance department. What are the most romantic moments in Outlander so far? It's Valentine's Day and that means a time to look at favorite couples, romantic moments, and love stories. Outlander is certainly full of swoon-worthy moments. There are some hot and steamy parts throughout each season, but what about the romance? Romance can take many forms. It can be within the hot and steamy moments, but it can also be in the quieter moments, the actions that the characters do to profess their love. Sometimes. It's in the moments long before we got to know the characters. For this Valentine's Day, I'm looking at the most romantic moments in Outlander so far. This is more than just looking at Claire and Jamie's best moments. There is more than one love story within the show now. There are side characters to consider, some side characters are becoming main characters in this story. I know for a fact not everyone is going to agree with my top picks. We all have something that we connect to more than others in stories. There are particular moments in the show that mean more to us than others. One thing I will say is that this is only about the TV show. I'm not completely caught up with the books yet. I know there are many readers who aren't book readers, or audible listeners, so I've made a choice to only stick to the TV show. Here are the 25 most romantic moments in Outlander so far. 25. Jamie takes the beating for Leary. When it happened, season 1, episode 2 when people brought their grievances to their laird. Why it happened, Leary's father brought her forward because of her lewd behavior and wanted her punished for her actions. Jamie decided to step forward to take the beating for her. Why it was so romantic, I know plenty of people will disagree with this, but before you judge, it's worth putting all the points of this moment together. This was long before people knew what Larry was really capable of. It said arguably set up Leary's deep-seated belief that Jamie loved her. During this moment, we got to see Jamie at his finest. He barely knew Leary, admitting later that he didn't really remember her from his previous time at Castle Lock. Instead, he stepped up as a man of honor. He wasn't willing to see a girl punished and her reputation sullied. It showed him as a man who'd want to keep around knowing he'd always try to do what was right. There was a cockiness to him and I do think his actions did have ulterior motive. Would he have stood up for Leary and taken the beating had Claire not been there? Part of me wonders whether he did it to impress her because he knew it would mean a trip to the surgery, where Claire would tend to him. It was more for Claire than it was for Leary. That's why it was, in a way, romantic. 24. When Jamie comforted Claire after learning her husband was gone. When it happened, Season 1, Episode 2 When Claire and Jamie finally made it to Castle Lock. Why it happened, it had already been a wild ride up to this point. However, now that Claire was in some sort of safety and was able to let her guard down, she was able to think about everything that had happened to her. Finally accepting she was in the past, she realized that her husband wasn't alive. Why it was so romantic Jamie didn't know Claire all that well at this point. She was the woman who had helped fix his shoulder without making the break any worse. This was the woman who everyone else thought was a spy and he'd already fallen in love with her. Jamie could have walked away. Any other man wouldn't have listened to her, let alone comfort her. Yet, he had already opened up about Black Jack Randall to her and now he was willing to be there for her when she just needed someone to listen to her. He understood she was grieving and at no point assumed that she was faking everything. It was a beautiful and romantic moment that showed the type of man Jamie is. It also showed the growing bond between the two at such an early point in the series. 23. When Jamie Protected Claire's Bedroom When it happened, Season 1, Episode 5 Why it happened, during the rent party, the group stayed in a tavern and that meant Claire got a room. While everyone else drank downstairs, Jamie slept in the doorway to make sure the room was protected from any unsavory folk who might go in to do her harm. Why it was so romantic, Claire never asked to be protected. She didn't even sense the danger of the men downstairs. Why would she, considering the time period she came from? She never even considered that a locked door wouldn't stop the unsavory people downstairs. 
Jamie knew the dangers and he wanted to make sure Claire was protected from harm. He didn't even make it known to her that he was outside, showing that it was more about honor than praise. This wasn't about earning brownie point, adding to the romanticism of the whole situation. The romantic elements continued. When Claire did find out that Jamie was outside, she offered him somewhere warmer to sleep. Of course, he was never going to do that with the amount he respected her, but he did take the blanket to get some warmth. We got to see their growing bond in this moment, as both wanted to do right by the other. 22. When Roger Proposed When It Happened, Season 4, Episode 3 Why It Happened, After His Performance at the Scottish Festival, Roger and Brianna were about to spend the night together. Roger chose this chance to ask Brianna to marry him, with a beautiful bangle as the ring. Why it was so romantic, I get that a lot of people were on Brianna's side in this, but I found Roger's actions so beautiful sweet and romantic. He was extremely nervous but, at the same time, sure that he was going to hear a yes. He already had the offer of a long engagement, knowing and acknowledging that Brianna was a lot younger than him. Instead of a ring. He offered a bracelet, helping to ease the idea of the engagement. And that bracelet was inscribed with a quote that meant the world to both of them. Unfortunately, it didn't remain as romantic as he would have liked. Brianna turned him down, making it clear that she wasn't ready to consider marriage. However, I did love Rogers I want all of you or none of you. We got a chance to see just how deeply Roger loved Brianna. He wanted to give her the world and just wanted a yes in return. 21. Sailing to France When It Happened, Season 1, Episode 13 Why It Happened, After Rescuing Jamie from Wentworth Prison, Claire and Murtaugh needed to get him away. The best place was to France, where his cousin Jared Fraser had a place to stay. During that journey, Claire delivered news that she'd been holding on to for a while. Why It Was So Romantic there was everything to love about this moment. The first was that Claire had remained with Jamie, heading to France away from Scotland to make sure he remained safe. The one place that she was starting to call home was being left behind, but at no point did she resent the decision. Yet, that wasn't the reason for this being such a romantic moment. It's one of my favorite moments between the couple. Claire uses this chance to tell Jamie that she's pregnant. There's a sense of nervousness about her, even though deep down we all knew that Jamie would be happy. After everything that Jamie had been through, Claire wasn't sure how he would take the news of the pregnancy. Yet, he was just as ecstatic as we expected. They had this beautiful moment together after an episode of horror and heartbreak. 20. Roger Not Going Through the Stones When It Happened, Season 4, Episode 10 Why It Happened after escaping from the Mohawks, Roger made it through the forest and found a set of standing stones. Nobody knew these stones were here and we watched as Roger looked like he was finally going to go back through the stones. Instead, we learned in the next episode that he opted to stay. Why it was so romantic, Roger was going through hell. He had no idea what had happened to him or why. All he knew was that he'd been beaten up and was now a prisoner of the Mohawk. All he could do was look for a chance to escape. When he found a way to escape, he took it. That was when he came across the stones and you could see just how much he debated in his head. Not going through the stones was one of the most romantic, albeit stupidest, things he could have done. Despite everything, he put Brianna first. He knew that he needed to get back to her and he was willing to continue going through hell to manage it eventually. If he went back to his own time, he may have questioned whether he'd go back to Brianna after recovering. By remaining, he knew that he had to fight for her. 19. Jamie gave Claire Willie's portrait before his arrest. When it happened, Season 3, Episode 12. Why it happened, after freeing their slave, Jamie and Claire found themselves with British soldiers there to arrest him. Before being taken, he took the portrait of Willie out of his pocket and gave it to Claire for safekeeping. Why it was so romantic, there are certainly parts of the show that leave fans divided. I know Jamie's arrest at the end of season 3's penultimate episode is one of those moments. It's a plot device used in the series, but it also had this romantic moment. 
Jamie knew that there was a chance the portrait would be taken off him. He couldn't run the risk of it ending in someone else's hands, so he needed to turn to the one person he trusted with his life, Claire. Despite everything that the two had been through during the second half of this season, Jamie knew that Claire would keep his secret. It showed the bond between the two. While there are times we certainly wonder if there is still this trust and bond between them, we get to see these smaller moments. Handing the portrait to Claire, despite this child being from another woman, was the perfect touch at the end of this season. 18. Frank and Claire either side of the stones. When it happened. Why it happened, Claire had realized that she was close to Craig Nodon and headed up to the stones, escaping the rental party. As she got to the stones, Frank had reached them in 1946, hoping that he'd be able to find her or find some trace of her. Both shouted out to each other through the stones, suggesting she could have gotten back to him had she made it to the middle stone in time. Why it was so romantic, while I know there aren't many Frank fans out there, I felt for him in the first season. All he did was love a woman and lose her. She vanished without a trace and everyone believed that she'd gone off with another man. Frank refused to believe that for as long as he could. So desperate to find her, he headed to the stones, her last known location. He desperately called out for her, wondering whether it was possible that she'd gone through the stones like Mrs. Graham had hinted was possible. And on the other side was Claire, calling out for the husband she had left behind. Despite her feelings for Jamie growing, she was still in love with Frank and, at that point, would have gone through the stones if she had a chance. The two both being at the stones at the same time showed that they were still connected in this moment. 17. Roger vows to return to his wife. When it happened, season 4, episode 9. Why it happened, Roger had been sold to the Mohawks and was now their prisoner. One night, he spoke to his fellow prisoner about his plans, making it extremely clear that he wasn't going to leave Brianna behind. He would escape and get back to her. Why it was so romantic, sure, anyone could say that they would go back to their love, but Roger clearly meant it. Despite everything that had happened, he only had the love of his life on his mind. Roger was cold, hungry, and tired. He would have been scared and confused, still trying to work out what had happened to him. Yet, all he knew was that he would need to escape and return to Brianna. She was waiting for him. Who didn't go awe as he spoke? The odds were against him, but he did have some sort of plan. He'd been tracking where they were going and making a note of all the days that had passed. If there was a chance to escape, he knew there was some sort of hope of getting back to Brianna and making everything right. 16. Jamie carrying Claire over the threshold. When it happened, Season 4, Episode 4. Why it happened, after settling the boundary dispute with their Cherokee neighbors and killing the man bear, the Frasers were finally able to start building their home. With the base of the cabin built, Jamie had the chance to pick up his wife and carry her over the threshold. Why it was so romantic, throughout Outlander Season 4, Jamie kept sharing his regrets with Claire. He regretted that he never had money to buy her items and that they'd been apart for so long. Claire didn't want him to regret these things knowing that being with him was enough, but he couldn't help it. And that led to this moment with the cabin. One thing he'd never had with Claire was a home. Even when at Lollybrook, it clearly didn't feel like home. Jenny had been keeping care of the place and Ian had joined her. It was their place and was officially signed over to their son to at least keep it out of the Crown's hands. After all this time, Claire and Jamie were building their home together. They were finally getting a place to call their own and Jamie marked it with this romantic gesture. 15. Roger Chooses Brianna When it happened, Season 4, Episode 13 Why it happened, after being rescued from the Mohawk and told about Brianna's plight, Roger had a decision to make. Did he choose to remain in the past or go back to the future? Only he could decide. He chose to remain with Brianna, accepting the child as his no matter what. Why it was so romantic, Roger had been through hell, but he'd certainly made it to the other side. At the end of Outlander Season 4, he had one final decision to make. He either chose to stay in the past and accept Brianna's child as his own or he returned to his own time and forgot about everyone. 
it was never going to be easy, but after a couple of days, he made the choice. He opted to remain with Brianna and we got that moment at the end of the season. While Brianna was packing up her belongings to return to Fraser's Ridge, she saw a lone rider on the path to River Run. Getting outside, she raced across the grass and into Roger's arms. It was everything we needed to see after the journey both characters had been through. 14. Jamie shares his full name at the wedding. When it happened, Season 1, Episode 7. Why it happened, before walking down the aisle, Claire told Jamie that she couldn't marry him. She didn't know his name. And in that moment, Jamie said it, James Alexander Malcolm Mackenzie Fraser. Why it was so romantic, there is certainly a plot hole within this moment, although possibly a way to explain it, but that doesn't stop it from being one of the most romantic moments on Outlander. And, of course, it was sexy as hell. Claire was drunk at this point, drinking as much as possible so she could get through the day. After all, she was still connected to Frank, guilty that she was moving on and marrying someone else. Jamie didn't seem even the bit offended about this, but there was a look of hurt and shock when she said she couldn't marry him. That was all eased when she mentioned it was because she didn't know his name. Rather than just give his clan name, Jamie gave his full name. Then, Claire followed up with her full name and we got this beautiful, romantic bond that grew between the two. 13. Claire telling Frank she loved him after his death. When it happened, Season 3, Episode 3. Why it happened, Claire and Frank had grown apart after her return. While he stood by her and raised her daughter with Jamie as his own, it was clear that he could never fully get over everything that happened to her in the past and vice versa. Yet, when it came to Frank's death, Claire was upset and finally said words she'd been holding back for some time. Why it was so romantic, one of the most emotional parts of Outlander Season 3 was Frank's death. It wasn't the fact that he died but the moment that came afterward. Despite everything that had happened, Claire didn't want to lose Frank from her life. Whether a selfish action or not, he was a stable part of her life and had done as much right by Brianna as he could. After Frank's death, Claire finally said everything that she'd been holding back. She may not have felt as deeply as she did for Jamie, but there was still this romantic element to her telling Frank how she felt, hoping that his soul was around to hear it. Frank was her first love. There was nothing that would take that away or change it. It's no wonder she still wears his wedding ring. 12. Jamie saving Claire from the witch trials. When it happened, Season 1. Episode 11. Why it happened, Jamie had been sent away with Dougal and his men while Claire remained at Castle Lock. Claire headed out to see Galus, only to realize too late that it was a trap and she was arrested at the same time as Galus as a witch. The trial took long enough for Jamie to get to Claire and get her away to safety. Why it was so romantic, Jamie has this way of being able to save Claire from danger and near death. In this case, he saved her from being executed as a witch. Jamie didn't know what was going on at the time. He had no idea just how bad the situation was, but it was bad enough for him to race back to Crane's mirror and get to the hall. He stormed into the room, just as Claire was being whipped into submission. There was no way that he was going to let this happen to his wife. With everything going on, seeing Jamie stride in and just take Claire away was everything. At this point, she was still on trial, but Jamie didn't care. He wasn't having any of it and would have done anything he could to clear her name. 11. Brianna choosing to marry Roger. When it happened, Season 4, Episode 8. Why it happened, Brianna and Roger finally reunited in Wilmington. After the initial shock of Roger being there, Brianna managed to compose herself and went off to talk to him in private. Just as they were about to ravish each other, Brianna remembered everything that Roger had previously said and made it clear that she wanted to marry him now. Why it was so romantic, Roger didn't push Brianna into this decision. While he made it clear that he still wanted all of her or none of her, he didn't start an argument about it again. With everything that he'd been through, he knew it was time for her to make her decision herself. And that's exactly what she did. Roger didn't even get a chance to explain his feelings or say anything. 
she cut him off and made it clear that she was willing to marry him. This was the man she loved. After everything that had happened, she'd had time to think and realized that Roger was the right man for her. Her speech about why she wanted to marry him was perfect. He'd followed her through time and risked his life to get to her. This was a guy who was going to put her safety first and she wanted him by her side. 10. Roger putting his life on the line to follow Brianna through the stones. When it happened, season 4, episode 7. Why it happened, after finding out that Brianna went to the past, Roger decided that she couldn't go alone. He got his own things together and followed her through the stones, knowing that it could put his life at risk. Why it was so romantic, a romantic moment between Roger and Brianna was something that Brianna didn't even know was happening. She had already gone through the stones, leaving the letter that Roger wasn't meant to get for another year. After all, they'd broken up and she didn't think she'd hear from him again. But he went searching for her, hoping that he could stop her from going through the stones. When he realized that wasn't possible, he decided to go through and catch up with her at some point, knowing she'd be heading to the ridge. This wasn't controlling but romantic. He knew how dangerous the time was and knew that Brianna was at some serious risk. He put his own life on the line, not even knowing if he could go through the stones at this point or what would happen going through, and made his way to protect the love of his life. 9. Claire choosing to stay with Jamie. When it happened, Season 1, Episode 11. Why it happened, after learning that Claire had traveled through time, Jamie decided it was time to get her back to Craig not done. This was her chance to return to her own time. Yet, when the time came, she chose to remain with Jamie. Why it was so romantic, the series was, admittedly, lacking in this part. I preferred the way the book had written it by finding out that Claire had chosen to stay. During the show, I wondered for a while whether she just failed to get back through the stones. However, once I realized she made the choice, it quickly became one of my favorite moments. Outlander delivered a loving Claire following her own heart. After months of falling for Jamie and admitting there was a bond between them that wasn't normal, she chose to give in to her heart. Claire put Jamie first. She walked back down the hill and made it clear that he was the one for her. The on your feet, soldier was a sweet touch that tried to lighten the mood, but it didn't take away from the romantic element to this whole part of the story. 8. Jamie rescuing Claire from BJR with an unloaded pistol. When it happened, Season 1, Episode 8. Why it happened, when trying to get back through the stones, Claire was captured by the Redcoats and taken to Black Jack Randall. Jamie learned about everything and set up an assault to get his wife back. Why it was so romantic, who didn't love the moment Jamie crouched in the window with the pistol and said I'll thank you to take your hands of my wife. This had to be one of the sexiest things we'd heard Jamie say, and he said it with so much certainty and calm. Despite everything he was feeling, his emotions were completely bottled up. And while the rescue was romantic in itself, it was something much bigger that helps to push it further up this list. Jamie swung into the window with an unloaded pistol. Sure, nobody else knew right away, but Jamie knew that if he had to use the pistol, he wouldn't be able to. It's no wonder that Jamie was nervous. This moment is followed by one of my favorite Claire and Jamie moments, the argument after saving Claire. Jamie was going up against his greatest foe at the time with an unloaded pistol. 7. Jamie's decision to return Claire to her own time. When it happened, Season 1, Episode 11. Why it happened, after learning that Claire was a time traveler, there was only one thing that Jamie could do. He needed to give her the chance to return back to her own time. Why it was so romantic, despite how much Jamie loved Claire, he just wanted her to be happy. After learning about her being a time traveler, he was finally able to piece a lot of bits together. He could figure out why she was so different and why getting to the stones had been previously so important to her. Jamie knew that there was another man out there. Claire's husband, the one she'd mourned, and he'd consoled her about was still alive in the future and waiting for her to return. Jamie was going to be selfless and give Claire the chance to go back to Frank. We all know how it turned out but Jamie didn't know at the time. In fact, 
He even admitted that he prayed that he would have the strength to allow her to leave him. All he wanted was for her to choose him, but he wasn't going to pray for that to happen. 6. The Goodbye at the Stones When it happened, Season 2, Episode 13 Why it happened, realizing that the Battle of Culloden was going to happen and they were all likely to die, Jamie had to get Claire away. He was willing to sacrifice himself, but he needed to make sure his wife and unborn child were safe. Jamie took her to the stones at Craig Nodun and begged her to go back to Frank, where she would be safe. Why it was so romantic, it was a huge sacrifice for both Claire and Jamie. Claire was willing to die with Jamie, while Jamie was willing to give up his whole happiness. He had no idea if Frank would be on the other side of the stones for Claire, but he just had to hope. It was safer than anything. At the Stones, we got this emotional goodbye. They both had a final moment together, gaining that final connection and hour or so together before they were, what they believed, would be permanently separated. I know this wasn't everything that was in the books. This moment did have the carving of the initials, not something I enjoyed that much, if I'm honest, but the show did a beautiful job of bringing every single emotion within the scene. 5. Brianna and Roger's Hand Fasting When it happened, Season 4, Episode 8 Why it happened, after 8 episodes, Brianna and Roger finally united. Without a minister around, they needed to be hand fasted and it was enough for them. Brianna didn't hesitate. She wanted to be with Roger and was willing to give all of her. Why it was so romantic, anything that happens in front of a warm fire is always going to be romantic. There's something about this setting that is just so beautiful and it certainly added to the romantic element of Brianna and Roger's hand fasting. There didn't need to be rings made from keys or beautiful dresses. This was just about the two of them, finally doing something that they both wished had happened earlier. However, there were personal elements, with Roger's tie being the item that would fast their hands together. Brianna had no idea what she was doing but you could tell that Roger had read up about this. As a historian, of course he would have. But it was meaningful to him and he was willing to accept that this hand fasting was as good as marriage, despite his own beliefs in God. Of course, it all followed with them consummating their marriage, but nothing quite beat the moment they knelt in front of the fire. 4. Jamie Organizing the Wedding When it happened, Season 1, Episode 7 why it happened, Jamie wanted his wedding to be perfect. This wasn't about what he wanted but about making it perfect for Claire. From the dress, to the church, to the ring, everything needed to be just right and he was willing to do everything he could to arrange it. Why it was so romantic, there's no denying that Jamie is the more romantic out of the couple. And there's nothing wrong with that, that's the case in my marriage too. Sometimes one is going to be more romantic than the other. And in this moment, it worked out for the wedding. While Claire drank to gain courage, Jamie went on a mission to make his wedding day perfect. He didn't care about it for himself. This was all about making it just right for this woman that he had immediately fallen in love with when they first met. It was a sign of the romantic gestures to come. Jamie knew that he would never be able to offer Claire everything. He was a wanted man with no home to return to at that time. All he could do was offer a ring made out of a key that was a direct connection to his home. It was personal and beautiful, showing us everything Jamie would offer. 3. The New Ring When it happened, Season 4, Episode 6 Why it happened, in the Outlander Season 4 premiere, Claire's ring from Jamie had been stolen. It took a few episodes, but Jamie had found a way to get her a new ring made. After she'd helped Lord John Grey recover from the measles, Jamie drew Clara Bath and gave her the new ring. Why it was so romantic, let's be honest, this was a moment many of us had been waiting quite some time for. The second ring had come much sooner in the books, but it was certainly worth waiting for in Outlander Season 4. It brought one of the most romantic moments throughout the whole series, and one that will be hard to knock out of this spot. Earlier in this episode, Claire had mentioned that she was waiting for Jamie's full attention when their guests had left. It was clear that she was craving some alone time with him and the bath was the perfect start to that, 
especially as she'd needed to help someone she had few good feelings for had the measles. But the ring had also continued a conversation the two previously had. It was all about the lack of gifts and things Jamie had been able to give his wife. He felt guilty for not being the husband he wanted to be. Then to top off this moment, the ring was made from Ellen's silver candlestick, continuing this connection to important items from his childhood. Who would be the one to make it? Murtaugh of course. 2. The Night of the Reunion When it happened, Season 3, Episode 6 Why it happened, after the initial reunion in the print shop, Claire and Jamie headed to Jamie's room at the brothel. They had dinner and then connected through intimacy, bringing our favorite couple back together properly. Why it was so romantic, so much of a Malcolm mirrored the wedding and that, in itself, made it an extremely romantic episode. However, it was the night in the room at the brothel that was beautifully romantic. It all started with dinner and then a chance for the two to connect. The nerves were evident after spending 20 years apart. It was like they were just meeting each other for the first time. There were moments that it felt like they were nervous teenagers again, adding that sweet, nostalgic feeling. Then we got the steaminess and the intimate connection. Both became one again, something that we'd waited for throughout the whole of season 3. Everything about the scene worked, whether it was the lighting, the music, or the writing. It all came together and delivered this moment that we wanted to be there within it. Many of us wanted to be Claire, right? 1. The Wedding Night When It Happened, Season 1, Episode 7 Why It Happened, Claire had no choice but to marry Jamie. While a few moments from the wedding have made it to this list, there's only one that could ever take up the top spot. The wedding night delivered a mixture of nervousness, humor, and sexiness when the Frasers consummated their wedding. Why it was so romantic, what wasn't romantic about the wedding night? Everything worked together perfectly. Six episodes of build-up brought us to this moment, one that we'd been dying to see. And it all started with the build-up of other elements of the wedding. The wedding night delivered with the lighting, the writing, and the chemistry between Claire and Jamie. There was no denying that there was passion there, but there were also nerves. Claire felt awful for not getting back to Frank, while Jamie didn't know what he was doing. The two were there for each other throughout the night. Jamie gave Claire time to gain some liquid courage. They worked their way up to finally consummating their marriage and when they did, it was quick and initially dirty. Yet, Jamie made it clear that he wanted to learn to be better. He wanted to make sure Claire enjoyed the night, too, and he was willing to let her teach him.